a new day, a new project. It's Friday and there's nothing we like better than working. He said sarcastically to the camera. <laughs> What's the plan for tonight? We're going to prep some of the areas that we're going to spray with the Raptor liner so that we can install the awning hopefully this weekend. Tomorrow we pull out the awning. <laughs> it'll good. it'll go. It's going to take some configuring. Yeah, yeah. It's these kind of projects yeah, that we kind of not procrastinate but you think about and you're like I just want to get this one done we just want to wrap up so that we can move on to the next AK electrical yeah because we want to mount it right through the walls before ooh, before we put on uh, on the paneling and the insulation and all that good stuff so while we have access to everything we're trying to mount the stuff that needs to be mounted all right we're here let's head in Ooh, I always get spooked walking back here because you never know if there's something on the floor. One more look at it. Uh, we should go take that table saw out of the truck. Oh, yeah. Do we want to spray this section? like the, the threshold part or whatever that we sandblasted to get rid of that oxidization. We're gonna mount that rail, the rail of the awning right here. So I'm going to spray this first. I'll record you clean. I am busy. It's kind of what happens at home. You'll <laughs> record and I'll clean. <laughs> What? That will have more spray than we need when we do this. What do you mean more spray? I think there'll be more than enough spray in the can to do more than this. Once you crack a can, you have to use the whole thing? Mm -hmm. This is the acid etch, which has to go on the bare metal, anything bare metal for it to burn. Universal adhesion promoter. So any spots that you didn't think that you could sand or, or get scuffed up, I'm going to spray inside there, right? Helps the sort of master liner to stick to. Slight change of plans. We're going to prep and do this door too. to wait till tomorrow the spray needs it's either like a one hour or 48 hour window we don't want to wait 48 hours after we spray the prime so Jeff's gonna get up early and come at 6 30 in the morning spray the primer we'll eat breakfast and then come back and start the rest of the work for the day so I'll do the morning shift I am not doing the morning shift <laughs> beer time all right new day Jeff came here at six in the morning and sprayed the black primer around the 6 doors. Six thirty. Okay. He slept in. Six thirty. He slept in. <laughs> we are ready to rocker guard this soon, or rock? Is it rocker guard or rock guard? Either or. Oh. Raptor liner. Raptor liner it, and then take this off, and then put the awning on. Mm -hmm. 
instructions. <laughs> Any smarter? Nope. So I think you can adjust the arm lengths, right? So I was going with six feet, which I think is approximately here, maybe a little bit less. Ain't no place I'd rather go, yeah, funny little critter, and I love you so, and I want to take a ride and we'll bear it. So the issue we have is that it's not an issue, but it's a technicality. We only have a very small space to mount this arm. Where we position the awning on the ambulance really depends on this arm being able to fit there. Custom. We'll be custom. bit of modification to fit around our um, our lights, our marker lights. Because we have an aluminum body with an aluminum frame rather than wood like a camper would typically have for mounting the awning, we're going to put bolts through and thread the aluminum frame of the ambulance. We'll be able to take them out if we have an issue. Such a delicate job. Yeah, you gotta come over. Try and stay as straight as possible. So we're gonna tap them for a quarter inch bolts. Put some Loctite on them. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. It was screwed in. Ah, this has been like a three hour ordeal to find the right bolts. There's a bolt problem here in this town. I'll do all four of these and then uh, we'll be ready to hang it. She thinks I'm a little lazy, I think she's a little crazy. We like summer and we like spring, watching wrestling and rain. She ain't shy, she speaks her mind. Tough as All right, fabric. What is this called? The fabric fastener? <laughs> it holds the awning. Yes. <laughs> to the ambulance. To the ambulance, going on. Oh silicone my gosh. behind that, silicone the holes. And yeah. we'll, when we're done, we'll run a bead of silicone. On the top. On the top, I need to stand where you are. If we butt that other piece up, we can check and measure two and a half inches, and then that, where that bracket will go for this the left, other one. Left arm. Can come down. But then we'll double check the overall measurement to make sure it's 11 foot three like that. Instruction shape. Burgers in the yard. Are you able to bolt it for both? No, I can't get a nut on the inside, so I'll have to tap these ones too. Thread them. Thread them. Third time, we're at the store today trying to get the right nuts and bolts and whatever for this awning. You have to go with the four, how much threads on the four? Yeah, but so how much of the shaft then? Though? Does it have, it has another half inch more shaft? Like the part that doesn't have threads on it. Get those and then maybe get a couple of 5 16 stainless or a bag of 5 16 stainless uh, nuts. Perfect. Okay, thanks. Bye.
wearing true test new bolt four inch right through and we're like going the wall is this thick so thick oh the amount of different bolts we've had to buy today there's the collection these came with it these were other ones we had to get mm. these ones yeah with those ones there's so much stuff here we go with the test does it clip oh beautiful jeff 30 p.m. One arm installed. And the drip. And the drip. <laughs> In theory, I should be able to measure from the bottom up to that bracket. Mount this bracket, right? This will lay down. We'll put the awning, slide it in, hook it on there, bring this up, hook and it on there, drillable. and then drill those holes. Yeah. Yeah, you won't be able to squeak when she gets them. That's true. All right, long day. Uh, we're going to head home and uh, come back tomorrow, roll it up, finish it up. We're just going to call it a day, come back, fresh eyes. All right, see you tomorrow. Peace. All right, I can talk about it. Put a bit of weight here and then tighten this guy up. Definitely beefier than just a standalone. You can get those shade things, the, the front ones that drop down too. And the legs can unhook and then be totally stationary too. Yeah, so you're not ducking. That's it, the awning is on. Uh, it actually wasn't too terribly bad to do, just a little bit more work than uh, if we were just putting it onto a regular RV where we could just bolt it wherever. But we went with the Rec Pro manual awning. Uh, we didn't want to have, like there's some things that we want power, but this is one of the things that we wouldn't, we don't need to have power for just to worry about it not having enough power to go out or 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 back in if we lose power it's just manual nice nice and simple it's sturdy too when we put it out we can put the legs down and uh, put a front on it too if we want or sides have some extra outside living area so that's it hope you guys enjoyed it see you next time Let's go.
Oh, gross. Maya, that you might have to do it.